couple of field events are still going on in uh, the combined events, the long jump open octathlon and the high jump heptathlon, for boys and girls respectively. There's Nastasia Fletcher of Jamaica, one of the favorites here, along with the Antiguan who we saw in the first heat of the under 17 girls, 400 meters. Keezra Thomas, who finished fourth in the high jump for the Bahamas, is also in 400 qualifying here. She'll start in lane number five. And Deshanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis won the bronze medal here last year in this event. She returns looking for another medal. There's the Bahamian Thomas. But Deshanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis, she is quite a talent, has only contested one 400 race this season, and it hasn't even been this year. It was in December last year. She ran 57.3, has run a few 200s and 800s to get herself prepared for the Carifta Games. But this should be interesting first round. McIntosh of Grenada, Cassia Paul of St. Lucia, Marissa Thomas of Guyana, Nastasia Fletcher of Jamaica, Ke Ezra Thomas of the Bahamas, Deshanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis, Tia Appowate of Barbados, and Chrisan Williams of the Turks and Caicos Islands. There is Deshanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis. She goes in lane number six. Not 100% sure as to what shape she comes in here in for the one lap. Did go 221 for 800 meters leading into this. So we'll see how that translates to the one lap event. Ran 55-65 last year for that bronze. It has been working, as you said, on her speed endurance. And so it'll be interesting to see what she can produce this evening, assuming she makes it to the final. But first, she has to negotiate this preliminary round of uh, the 417 girls. Nastasia Fletcher of Jamaica, the favorite for this section. Fastest in the field. Sit. Stand up, please. Break at the start for these young ladies. And he too. Semi-final round, essentially, of the under-17 girls, 400 meters. Fletcher in lane four, second fastest in the field. Which means the entire field is safe. fact has gone under 54 seconds this season yeah twice at the Jamaican high school championships leading into this 5391 and 5398 so she comes in in spanking form there's always the issue of fatigue with a lot of the Jamaicans because of how hectic their high school championship is just a week before this and immediately preceded by Carifta trials yes which is tough as well. Yes. Fletcher is in lane number four. The Guyanese Marissa Thomas is in lane three, comes in here with a 5901 clocking, so not lightning fast. She'll know that her country woman, Tiana Springer, won the under 17 event last year. Springer moves up to the under 20s this year, where she's expected to factor once more. It'll be interesting to see what happens in those uh, central lanes, especially with Kiesra Thomas just having uh, competed in the high jump. Just 14 years old this year. Left to be seen what she can produce. Uh, she's expected to be one of the contenders, certainly, for a medal in the 400. But first has to get out of this preliminary round after having just attempted the high jump and just missed out on the medal there. The athletes in position for the second heat of the under 17 girls, 400 meters. Emma McIntosh of Grenada, Cassia Paul of St. Lucia, Marissa Thomas of Guyana, the favorite, Nastasia Fletcher of Jamaica in four, Keezra Thomas of the Bahamas in five, Deshanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis in six, 
Tia Applewaite of Barbados in seven, and Kristen Williams of Turks and Caicos in lane number eight. Max. Top three to advance automatically, plus the next two fastest. The time's on the bubble, 58.55 and 59.40. Alexis Roberts of the Bahamas and Tesley Lesperis of St. Lucia. Set. Off they go for the second heat semi-final round of the under 17 girls 400 meters. The Jamaican Nastasia Fletcher goes to work pretty early, already closing down on Thomas of the Bahamas. And that's the way they head down the back straight away, flying on the outside. Williams of the Turks and Caicos Islands, but it's Fletcher of Jamaica who has gone through the first 200 pretty quickly and is asking the rest of the field to chase Thomas of the Bahamas. Tishanel Thomas of St. Kitts and Nevis also there as the Bohemian steps forward now to try and join the Jamaican Fletcher doing all their running in the second 200 of this one is Kazera Thomas of the Bahamas. Now putting in a kick down the home stretch is Nastasia Fletcher but the Bahamian hanging on to her here. These two will be safely into the final as they batter for it. And it's Thomas of the Bahamas who gets there first. And that's a pretty quick time. That's 53-69. That will be a personal best for both athletes. That's terrific running in the opening round of the Corrupta Games here. On the 17 girls, 400 meters, 53-74. A spanking big personal best for Kezra Thomas of the Bahamas. And after the disappointment of not meddling in the high jump, she's taken it out on 400 qualifying. It looks as though she will have uh, taken the high jump as a bit of a warm up because she came into this one um, uh, looking uh, really sharp. As she would have seen uh, Fletcher taking it out really quickly. Um, uh, Fletcher going through the first uh, 200 in about uh, 27 seconds. And then as you can see here, she is uh, clearly in the lead, but Kiesra Thomas picking it up in uh, the second half of that race. And uh, really coming on uh, gangbusters uh, and heading uh, down the street. They're still a little bit behind, but uh, a big, strong athlete. We talked about her power in the high jump. She's uh, showing that same power here to finish off in very fine fashion, uh, just ahead of uh, Fletcher from uh, Jamaica. Yeah, almost took two seconds off her personal best, Kurt. That's quite a performance in the opening round. Yes, a great performance, and it definitely leaves the question for the Jamaican athlete who were clearly favored. Yeah, here we go, 5374 for Thomas Fletcher, 5382. Dick Chanel Thomas, 5597, gets into the final as well. So does Marissa Thomas with 5808. And at 5856, Cassia Paul of St. Lucia just misses out on the final because it's 5855 that will advance by Alexis Roberts of the Bahamas. Oh, yes, I was saying it's, it's great to see that, you know, the Jamaican athlete was pushed. 